Hey everyone, so I kind of wanted to do a video of me shingling a valley, so I picked this little valley, which is fairly simple to do. Um, it's just a small little valley, and as you can see, I started off by weaving my first two shingles, and now I'm bringing one side up all the way. This side gets shingled first because it has the lower peak. So I'm just bringing this side up. Um, the kind of valley that I'm doing is called a cut valley. And yeah, as you can see, I'm not ver putting very many nails inside of it. And I try to keep the nails a good distance away from the center of the valley because center of the valley is are a very important spot. Um, they're just more likely to leak if it's not done correctly. So as you can see too with my ice my ice and water that I put on underneath that um I don't really have any staples on it. I usually only sta staple the outside part of it, like along the edges. So there's that. And then I go back down. And now I'm bringing my other side up. So there's my valley, it's all done now. Now I'm just gonna chalk my line and cut my valley. So when you're cutting your valley, you got to make sure that you don't cut into the shingle underneath it. Um, on here, it kind of looks like I'm pressing hard, but I'm not. It just, I was, my, uh, my knife was just a little dull, so I was having a hard time cutting it. But yeah, I'm usually pretty careful when I cut my valleys. You just have to make sure not to get that shingle underneath it. Like I said, the valley is an important spot on the roof, so they just have to be done carefully.
So now I'm going to start capping my hip. As you can see, I folded my cap to get the center of it. And I'm just going to snap a line to keep my cap nice and straight. So usually I just put two nails in my cap. I know some people do four, but I do two. Um, mostly because it's just going to get nailed again when you put the next cap on. So that's why I just two nail it. And there it is, all complete.